Ooh. Mm. Uh, we're looking today at Vlada Fatil's Galaxy Chocker, a completely ridiculous box. This one's actually more ridiculous. This is the anniversary edition. You don't need that. And we won't need it today because we're just going to look at the very base, base, basic game of Galaxy Chocker, which, don't worry, is already completely ludicrous. This is a phenomenal game where you and your friends are going to be building ships out of like Lego-like components. Uh, then you're going to fly off on a big galactic convoy and your ships are going to fall apart and it's going to be completely hilarious. And best of all, Galaxy Trucker is a game with multiple winners. As long as you make one dollar, you're all winners uh, together. So that's nice. I'm going to talk you through how to build your ship, which is the most important part of Galaxy Trucker. And then your friend can walk you through what happens when you're in a convoy because there's not a great deal of decision making you can make. It's like a ghost train. You'll just be boom, boom, bouncing through doors and having awful pirates jump out at you. So... Building a ship. Everyone's gonna get one of these personal player boards with a ship on and you're all gonna start with a cabin of your own personal color and that's where you're gonna put two of these rotund spacemen. So that's a good start. Now all you need is like some engines and some places to put your cargo and stuff. The way Galaxy Tracker works actually relates to this giant pile of components. The way you build, it, you do this against the clock, although don't worry because just don't worry about that for now, um, is you all have one hand you reach into the pile, the galactic scrapyard, you pick up a tile and you can't look at it until it's over your board. Once it's over, you can look at it and go, Meh. and you can attach it to your ship or you can put it here for storage and you've only got two slots there and that's saying, I don't want to place this right now, but I want to place it later. Because if you don't place these, they count as they count against your money you've made. Or you can return it to the junkyard. But if you do that, you have to return it face up. That thing you didn't want, you're throwing it out to the hyenas around the table saying, if you want that, you can get it too. But let's say you do want it. Let's talk about building. And specifically, let's talk about connectors because Galaxy Chucker has three kinds of connectors. It has, if we look at this uh, lovely little battery right here, um, it has universal connectors, which are like universal power adapters. They can connect to anything. So if we're just plugging these two things together, that's perfectly legal. The other two kinds of connectors are these single connectors and double connectors. And these aren't quite so useful. They can only connect to each other like that would be kind of legal. And then if we just oh, swing that round to there, that's kind of a legal ship, except it's still not legal because you can never have this. You can never have situations where the barriers of your tiles don't quite connect together. So that's the problem. The other big problem is that when you pick up a tile and go, oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this on my ship. Once you put it down, it's there forever. You have to consider this board in super glue. Once you've made your decision, it is stuck there for the rest of the building round. So Galaxy Trucker's building phase is basically listening to your friends go, Oh, I need a thing, I need a thing, I need a thing! Where is the thing? Oh, you took all the things! And also players putting a tile gown and going, Oh, piss, because they've done something completely terrible. So, all that's left now is to walk you through the different kinds of components. And I've, because I'm quite efficient, I've put them into little piles. Efficient or nerdy. So the first thing we're going to look at is engines. You're going to need lots of engines. Engines are great. Engines help ships go fast. You buy this engine, you put it on your ship, and then you've got an engine. Engines, and this should come as no surprise, must point backwards. Also, and this should come as no surprise, you cannot have a tile directly behind an engine because it will just get blasted off. That's completely illegal. This, however, would be legal, assuming that I could connect that somehow. Um, you could, As long as there is just one piece of empty space behind an engine, then it's okay for the ship to continue behind that. Um, let's, I wonder if I can build the ship as I do this. Let's find out. The next thing we're going to talk about is cargo. Again, pretty useful for a space truck. You're going to want as many cargo slots as possible. And once you've got engine and cargo, good news, you've basically built a functioning space truck. It might not stay safe, but we'll see. The next tile we've got is, ooh, yes, fabulous. Uh, it, it sort of hazardous cargo slots. Cargo cubes come in a few different varieties, but if we just look here, you'll see the blue cargo is bad, then green is better, yellow is better. Best is red cargo, but red cargo doesn't go in regular cargo slots. It, in fact, can only go in hazardous cargo materials, the red ones. You'll find space cargo on the side of the road uh, on your actual exciting journey, but once you've got it, it just sockets into each little cargo space like that. And look, I'm going to need a special hazardous cargo container for this red cube, but I've got one. Red cubes can only go in pink spaces, although pink spaces can hold ordinary cargo too. What's the next tile we're looking at? Ah, yes. 
lasers because uh, you, because it's space and things are dangerous. You want lots of lasers like engines, you're going to need lots of lasers. Don't ask why, just trust me on that. Uh, there are some bad things in space. Lasers ideally want to point forwards, but they don't have to. Um, you can have lasers pointing sideways, I've all... No, that's perfectly legal. Um, lasers pointing sideways or backwards are half as good, and again, like engines, they need empty space in front of them, although in the case of this, this is perfectly legal. I've got two empty spaces. Everything is good for now, it's fine. I'm already running out of space to build, though. I'm gonna say I did that, uh, just so I don't completely wall myself in. Cheater! It's illegal as hell, man. Um, I'm sorry, don't cheat. If your friends catch you doing it, then I don't know what they'll do. Um, finally, in the first round of easy, nice and simple components, we've got this. And this is just, it's got loads of connectors. It's great, it does nothing. Um, these structural things are nothing, but they tend to have Universal connectors, which is pretty great for the sake of... Uh, look, here's, here's some strategy for you. That's a universal connector, so I'm going to socket onto that, and that gives me two more universal connectors, so I'm making the most of my structural thing. That's smart, it's good. Uh, let's talk about this, let's talk about this. This is a cabin, uh, just like your central one. Once you've got a cabin, you can do that, and then that's going to mean when you, when you set off, you've got even more spacemen. Why do you want spacemen? Well, for now, just trust me, it's like lasers. You want as many as possible. Um, not least because if you run out of spacemen, you have to abandon the flight. Um, but here's a cool thing. If you attach life support directly to a cabin, and I mean it has to be adjacent and touching and connecting, you've actually created life support for an alien crewman. And when you set off, you can elect to have a alien instead, and you can get pink aliens and brown aliens. And pink aliens are good for lasers. A pink alien on board your ship will give you two more laser power. Brown alien on your ship will provide two more engine power. Uh, they're extremely useful to have if you can pull off this double connector thing. Let's pretend I did because if I'm cheating now, I might as well keep cheating. Um, finally, we're going to talk about batteries and all the exciting things that are battery powered on your ship. Um, these are standard galactic E-sized batteries and the E stands for enormous. Uh, once you've got a battery, you're going to pop on a number of these green power cubes equal to the number of batteries, and then you've got a, a battery, and that's good. And batteries can be used for a few different things. We've got double engines and lasers here. Now, double engines and lasers do nothing without a battery. Uh, they're completely dead components if you don't have a battery, but if you do, in times when you want to fire your engines or fire your lasers, you can elect to spend one juice to fire those double lasers or get your double engines. Uh, so that's good. Although once you've spent the screen energy, it doesn't come back. So, you know, be careful. Um, finally, the last component you have to concern yourself with is, oh, that's legal. Look, I've built a legal ship. I wasn't thinking I could do that. Um, mm. I'm impressed with myself. Uh, shields also require battery power. So let's cheat again and put some power back on then. Shields will also either face two directions, depending on how you place it. That's the green that we're looking at. So this faces us, this protects us from that way. Uh, when you're being hit from that side, you can elect to spend some juice to protect yourself entirely from all the bad things that are going to come at you. Um, so, those are all the components you need to trouble yourself with. Let's talk a bit about... Um, oh, in the case of this, I haven't actually done a perfect job because I've got these up here. But I can finish that like that, and then I'm done. Obviously, you can only build in the designated white spaces. But it's fine that I didn't fill those up. It's fine. Everything is fine. Let's talk about... The sand timer. So in your first round of Galaxy Trucker, um, when you start building, someone is going to flip, it, the manual says the boldest player should flip the sand timer. So make sure you pick the boldest or your whole game will be void. You flip your sand timer and eventually it's going to run out. Let's pretend it ran out. Oh, it's run out. When it runs out, you don't have to stop building. Rather, all it means is that any player, uh, in fact, the player who has finished building, um, can pick up the sand timer and flip it on again to the final button. So you actually get two flips of the sand timer and even more than that because if no one is enjoying the building process and everyone's struggling then no one's going to flip that sand timer to the second phase. Also when you finish your ship you want to grab one of these numbers because this is your starting order in the convoy. So in the case of this we finished, we've flipped the sand timer giving our friends a final 30 seconds to finish building and also we are going to take that one and put it on our board. If someone had already taken the one, I would take the two and put it on the board, because being first in the convoy is pretty useful. Once you have finished your beautiful slash hideous slash completely broken ships, you enter one of the most fun parts of Galaxy Trucker, which is you all walk around the table and check one another's ships for being legal. So Matt, do you want to come and, and look at my beautiful ship there? 
It's fine. It's beautiful. I'm calling her the SS uh, Beautiful. And, uh, That's illegal. Yeah. So what happens now? I put that there so you, just to see if you were on your toes. Um, that leaves that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and that would immediately go into the pile of broken bits, um, which you have to pay off at the end of uh, the convoy. That's a good start. Finally, everyone will have taken a galactic number, built a galactic ship, and the sand timer will run out. And then you will all pick the ship token that relates to you. Uh, so we've got a green central hub, so we're going to take this green ship and you will place it in order with one space behind all of you. So let's say we've got a three player game here and then we would line our convoy up like that. And that this is abstract, you don't need to complete this or anything, it just simply shows the order and, uh, and how much distance there is between you. I'm going to point out a couple more things now. Uh, once you've built your ships and you hit the road, your friend who owns the game is going to walk you through exactly what happens on the road. And like I say, don't worry about it. Just just buckle up because it's going to be bumpy as hell. Um, you're basically going to go through a deck of cards. And during the building process, you've got that deck of cards kind of splayed out in front of you. So in the case of the first flight you're going to do, as it says here, you have two level one cards in each stack. If you get really good at Galaxy Trucker, and that's a big if, even I don't do this. Um, you can look at those cards. If you're sort of ahead of everyone in the building process and you flip the sand timer, you can use the same hand that you're grabbing tiles with to look at cards. And you look at one of the decks and you go, okay, we've got that coming. And then you can look at another deck and go, okay. And then maybe you can keep building with the knowledge of what's coming. Um, like I say, don't do it. it. God, there's no time. Just build a good ship and pray. That's my advice. Or maybe it's bad advice, I don't know. When you set off, you're gonna take all of those cards. You're gonna add a fourth pile that no one was able to look at off the deck. You're going to shuffle that up and that is your space deck. And then the person who's at the head of the convoy will lead the thing by going, okay, first off we encounter an abandoned ship. Um, but abandoned ships are a variety. It's just one of any number of things that you could uh, discover on your way through space. And your friend is going to walk you through all of them. Shall I walk you? I'll, I'll show you a couple of things that could happen now. Just a couple to give you an idea. Planets are a nice thing that you can encounter. And then in the order of the convoy, players can elect to go to a planet. So for example, uh, they could go here and take the two green cubes. And then if that was me, I could put two green cubes on my ship. And then the next player can go, oh, I'll take the yellow. And then the next player could take the three blue. That's how you get cargo. Another example of what you could encounter is a meteorite swarm. And this is just classic galaxy trucker. Players all get pummeled by meteors from these directions. And what that means is nice and simple. So first off, we've got a small meteor from the top. The person who's at the head of the convoy is gonna take two dice and roll them. And that means ooh, nine, which means everybody looks at their player board and sees the meteor is coming from nine. And then we trace it along there. Um, this would be bad for us in this case because uh, small meteors actually bounce off uh, well-made ships. They bounce off things with without this is what's called exposed connectors. So if it had hit from this angle, we'd be fine because there's no exposed connectors. We do have exposed connectors, which means it's quite simple. We just lose that tile and the alien is dead. And yeah, that just happened. And you've got to look because if our ship was built like that, uh, what would happen there is the asteroid would come, well, actually it would bounce off here because there's no exposed connectors. But let's say it came in from here and hit the exposed connector, that alien would go and then nothing would stop all of the rest of the ship from floating off because it wouldn't actually be connected to the rest of the ship. So in the case of that, we would lose everything. Welcome to Galaxy Trucker, ladies and gentlemen. And then not only there, we would move on to the next asteroid and the next and the next. Um, small asteroids bounce off well-made ships but can be stopped by shields. Large asteroids can only be shot by lasers shooting them out of the sky. Um, lasers pointing to the side actually can hit their row and rows one up and one down because your ship can accelerate or decelerate to shoot them out. There's also cannon fire, which can small cannon fire can be stopped by shields. Large cannon fire cannot be stopped by anything. Why would you encounter cannons in space? Well, just just trust me, this stuff's going to happen. Um, so you'll build your ships, you'll go on a great galactic adventure going through the deck and then, and this is the best bit of Galaxy Trucker, you're going to do it again. You're going to pop this round one card, you're going to cover it up with the round two and eventually the round three. All the numbers will change for having the prettiest ship at the end or finishing first, second, third or last. The decks will be replaced. We've got now each pile will have two level twos and a level one as things will get harder, but you're going to build another ship. You're going to jettison everything. You're going to flip it over, 
to a big, tough level two ship, and then sneak peek. There's a third round where you build a massive ship, or if you prefer, the Enterprise. Hopefully at this point you can tell why this is one of our favorite games ever. It's mad, it's got actual real depth where you can play it and have silly fun, or you can get really, really good, and it is so, so funny watching your friend's ship fall apart in space. Thank you very much for watching everybody, and good luck!